welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be deep cleaning my two bathrooms. Um, we're gonna start in the master bath. I am actually super embarrassed. Cleaning the bathrooms for me is not something that I like to do. So it's one of my chores that go a long time without being done. Um, I do vacuum and I do mop and I do like sweep things up and I do dust and stuff. But like the walls and the tub and the actual shower is not one of my chores I like to do. I love to clean the toilets. I've said this in other videos. I can clean a toilet every single day. It is, I don't know, I just like it. I like to sit on a clean toilet. It's something that I enjoy doing. And I know it's one of the most disgusting chores there is, but it, I, I just, it doesn't bother me. Now the shower on the other hand, I, I will put that off until it's, we're like, all right, we gotta tackle it. And it's, it's like that. With the house that we live in, there's a lot of mold. Um, and there's nothing that I can do about it. They're not helping me do anything about it. So I use my hydrogen peroxide. I take care of it. I clean it. But things tend to mold a lot faster here. We also live in a very wet area. So I always have the, um, the moisture collectors. If you've looked throughout my channel, you've seen me use them quite a few times. I have them in almost every single room and I change them monthly to kind of try to keep all the moisture going and collected and try to contain the mold. Um, bleach does not kill the mold. It'll take care of it, but it does not kill it so it can spread again. Hydrogen peroxide is um, what I've been told to use and even Google says the same thing. But we have to actually <laughs> change out the shower curtain. These I'm gonna wash in the washer machine and then these have to get because we have the two so we have just this one on the outside to be pretty and then this one to actually collect the water these all have to be changed um, they're all molding on the bottom my cats messed with them and then because there was a little hole the kids in the showers decided to rip them even bigger so I actually have duct tape and I'm actually gonna show you this is my most embarrassing part but I my channel is to be real and I'm gonna keep it real with y'all I'm not perfect and y'all keep watching let's go ahead and get started <laughs>
Now, I do not um, dry my shower curtains. I, um, I just wash them and then they'll finish drying while they're hanging. So it's still a little wet, um, but they'll finish drying while they hang. Tired. Um, the hair got pulled back. My back is on fire. 
everything's done. I got all the rugs washed, the toilet seat covers. I'm not exactly sure what they're called. Toilet seat covers. Um, all those were washed. I didn't film that. So I just threw them in the washer and then in the dryer. And then the curtains are the only thing that I don't dry. I just let them hang dry. Um, everything's done. The husband took out the trash for me from all the little trash bins and stuff. And I actually ran out of um, space on my memory card. So I had to transfer that over and that took me like an hour and a half. My computer's so slow right now. I don't know what's going on. I have no viruses. It just constantly freezes and has to reload or I have to restart it. So it takes a hot minute to get things from my memory chip over to my computer so I can clear space. But we are done. I'm going to continue listening to my book because I'm at a really good part in my book. I'm reading um, Nikki St. Crow's Peter Pan Dark Side Edition books right now. I will have everything linked in the box below. I'm reading the third book, the third and final book, The Vicious Darling. And it's good. It's very good. But I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.